be late. I mean, it's not that late. It's twenty past one. But um, I'm not planning to stay up all night. But I've built four new decks. We have built Glendios, uh, Dragonic Overlord Rebirth. We have built Liberator, and we have built Drag Ruler for Avengers. So we are going to try out some ranked matches. We're going to try and do this little campaign as well. Let's see what we have to do. Uh, play use the Link Joker. When using Link Joker. When using Link Joker five times. When using, well, Reverse Clans ten times. Twenty times. Okay. Lock five cards during a ranked fight. Roll lock ten, lock fifteen. Okay, we can we can do all that. That's no problem. So we we'll just have to win ten games with reverse units. We're not going to play all ten tonight, but we are going to try out our brand new best girl, and I'll let you see what the link joker deck is. I have no idea why people aren't playing this. It looks like a few people's deck list and no one was using it. It's an absolute requirement to play four of. Uh, we're not playing anything other than reverse units and Glendios. So just Glendios and the rest are all reverse units. This is on hit, lock a unit. This is call a grade one, which we can call this guy, which will counter charge for every uh, reverse unit on the field. So likely we're going to be like playing this, count last one, call this guy, unflip three damage. That's what that's going to do. Uh, these Carabalas 1s had reverse units back from drop zone back to hand and these lot guys will re-lock units that have been locked previously. Um, I don't know how how necessary this guy is. He may actually come out of the deck because we're going to be using Gladios every single turn to Carabalas 1, discard a card and um, permanently lock the opponent's field. So that is the idea. So, let's give it a try, we'll see how it works. Obviously I used to play, oh that's quite cool, it's Seraph Snow that's in the background. I used to play um, Glendios in the actual card game, but obviously in Duo Links it's a little bit different. So, we will just need to see, this actually isn't a bad hand at all. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep that, sure. Yes, okay, sure. Discard this. We got five. Is it just one I get to add? So, what the hell was that that just happened there? Right, so. So where the hell's my other one that was added? I thought it was supposed to add one from the top five and then add another copy of it from outside of your deck to your hand. Do I know how that works? Can I show my drop zone? Oh, that was a random editing trick. So let's discard this, and um, we'll add this reverse unit. Where the hell's our additional reverse unit? Is that not how that is supposed to work? Oh wait, does it add it to the deck rather than 
Right, add an additional copy to your deck, not to your hand. Right, okay. That's that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not better. Discard this one. And there's another regiment. We'll take this one. Take the boys. A lovely SP. Right, so let's begin doing things. Well, we can actually because we're not on four damage yet, so we don't really want to go doing things just yet. Well, this is a pretty good hand. I'm going to call you here. What am I? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. And battle, and stuck. Now we're deliberately not calling anything to front row so the opponent has to attack our vanguard. I was really kind of hoping that they'd hit a crit. That would really upset them. Right, well, obviously we're not going to raid. So we can now do this. We'll discard this little guy. Wait, is that one of the Megalock things that are currently on the field? I really hope that isn't the case. That should be a Megalock as well, sure. Then let's call you up here, use the effect. And then just declare and attack. Yes. I mean, these things don't have boost. Now, I really like to top deck into one of those grade ones that unflip damage. That will do. That will do just lovely. So, um, we're going to call you here. And we're going to call you here. Get the effect. And we're going to get you that unflips damage. And unflips you damage. Just like that. Uh, next, we are going to call you here. You here. This one. Hmm. Yep. Okay, sure. And we're going to Omega Look once again. Yep, I think that looks good. Let's just go with that. It just occurred to me I should really put those reverse units in the front row because uh, reverse units can't be locked. Now, if I top deck into. Yeah, I need 
to reverse it. In order to No, I don't even have a perfect guard. Dang it. That didn't even occur to me. Right, well that didn't work out fantastically well. Let's try that again, shall we? Hmm, this is probably VP farming, but uh, you don't normally VP farm with gold paladin. It's a weird choice. This isn't the worst hand I've ever had. Yeah, he's playing natural. He's actual proper playing. Some people, they are very sneaky this way, and they should be reported and um, fired. Um, from the sun, yes. Um, <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that there. But um, yes, pretending to be a VP farmer and you're actually playing, mm, not very cool. And he is doing it a little bit because he's not using sleeves. So, uh, the guy is a jerk. Everyone be feel free to just... Um, Man, I'm really tired. I don't know. Throw eggs at him or something. Who cares? Hey, we're just reading this guy. So it seems that our grade zero isn't activated unless we've got reverse units in the hand. So that is something interesting to take note of. Oh, that was a nice heal. I'll be honest, I don't know what to do with this. Great, well, we've drawn into a second Gwendios. We don't need that. Oh thank goodness. I almost thought he was about to hit two triggers there. I was like, no. This is not going particularly well for us at all. This is um crap. Which is quite attacks. Some of the reverse regions would be really nice. I mean, they are in the deck. I swear to god I use them. I mean, there's nine reverse units in the deck. It's just not difficult. Still no reverse units. 
Oh, there we go, finally, A reversing it. Do I have anything in my drop zone? I have one reverse unit in my drop zone. Okay. It uh, doesn't seem like it helps. No, this seems like good ideas. Hmm. And we'll call you here. Idea what I'm doing. Okay, that, that seems fine. Let's do that. There's no way that AK is hitting. That works out for the best. I didn't really want to put one full damage. Yes. Stop asking that. Right step. Hmm. I'm not on level right four. That's nice. Okay, let's uh, let's work this out. I'll do that. Call the other one for the drop zone. Yeah. Doesn't matter for one. Um. Oh, yes, is that one's per turn? And it'd be like that one's per turn. Oh my goodness, that's very annoying. Oh, you're trying to keep me off for damage as well. I see, that's what you're doing. Um, sure, uh, right skip. Hmm. So if I do this, then attack. Oh, 
Was ist das gut? Niemand fährt so vorbei? Ja, so haben wir die Pfeffer aus der Hand. Hm. Das gibt die Nächste. Also I'm still only on three damage, so it could get lucky. Well, I need the two triggers. Nope. My mistake is um, frustrating. Like Chaos Breaker is an easier to use deck, certainly. I'm thinking maybe in, maybe in Vanguard Zero you just start playing Glendius aggressively. You stop going for the Omega Lock. Maybe that's an easier option. Yeah. Did I manage to achieve anything there? I think I've achieved two things. I could have played using Link Joker. And we've locked five cards. Hmm. Right, I'm just curious as to what the computer is using. So it's playing four of this? I mean, it doesn't seem good. Playing four of this, that's right. Yeah, maybe I could just start using these and just... Like, just start trying to win by putting the opponent on 6 damage, rather than using the... the Glendius effect. So let's remove these guys, and we'll keep the ones, and... Sure, we'll throw in these guys. But if we're not going for the Omega Lock, then this guy isn't very good. And this guy is much better. Hmm. Right. Scam last one? Yeah. So then I have to start deciding what the other cards are that we use then. Also, the entire thing relies on having Glendius. So, I mean, if you don't have Glendius, you're screwed. I 
Yeah, okay, let's try this then. We'll craft two more of this. Okay, we're now out of material for that. Is there a better grade to 12k? Sure, 12k guy. Does that make sense? Okay, let's try that out then. Different strategy. New idea to try and kill you. Don't try and lock five units. Actually works, I don't know. Although this could be awesome if the opponent is um, right. So let's remove this, but we'll keep we'll keep one reverse unit in hand. Yeah, okay, we've got another set. We've got another one. So if the opponent's stupid enough to use um, rebirth effect, then we could win off of Glendios. Use a skill. Okay, we'll discard this. We'll add Glendios to hand because that is the very important one. And then we shall raid. Um, let's raid this. Yeah, let's read this. And attack. That's interesting. Oh, I don't feel like he's playing the veil. That's weird. I'll add this one to my hand. There's no way for it to have a bound card. Hmm. We'll just get it anyway. We'll just attack this rear guard and not bother about the vanguard. No right. Curious. Oh, 
Or maybe he didn't have a very clean hand. Maybe he only has an avail. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, yes, we'll take the team reverse here. Right, and raid Glendius. Hmm, so how do we go about this? We'll call you here first. Call this next? Uh, do I have any way of blocking anything else to me? Yeah, I've got that. Okay, sure. Um, I will take this guy. Oh, this way. Sure, that seems good. And we are going to call you here. And we're not going to call you yet, because we don't need to unclock the damage. Or maybe we do? 15, 16... No, this is okay. Let's do this. Yep, that's fine. Interesting choice. Hmm, this one? Do we get a trigger? Thank you. So next one you've got Novell, a re-standing Novell. But is it enough? I wouldn't think so. Maybe using the bell's effect? No, okay. And now that we have four damage, I can start using Gwen's effects if I want. It's a male annoying amount of draw triggers. Thankfully, I do have to have dark hand, so this should be fine. Because the male doesn't stop health guards, it only stops heal triggers. Not triggers in rear guard? Is he maybe just now realising that I've got three attacks on him next turn and he now has to rely on a heal trigger? Well, there's a heal trigger. Damn, that's irritating. Right, so, um, let's get right. I need to bring stuff back, that's annoying. So I can Omega Lock, but it doesn't help in any way. 
Go with that, sure. Let's see if that's left turn. Go with that, Good. You don't have another perfect captain. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. There we are. Here's the thing. We finally won one with Glendios. Okay, so Glendios works so long as you don't rely on the uh, Omega Lock. And also, it seems that a lot of people are scared of putting you on 4 damage, which is also kind of cool. And having 16k rear guards is kind of nice. Well, the good thing about Link Joker mirror matches is that my reverse units can't be locked, so this is another good favour. Well, we don't need that many Glendioses, just one is fine. Hmm. Well, we know for a fact we're not going to be able to... Um, we're not going to be able to Omega Lock the opponent because they are also going to have reverse units that can't be hit. The hell did you just discard? Oh, right, reverse cradle. Oh, reverse cradle is also a reverse unit. Ah, oh, see. Okay, then I should be playing one reverse cradle then. I'll just do this. Tap. This one. This one because it's nice and foil on SP. Same idea. Hmm. Ooh, that was a nice heal for We'll use the effect. Let's go for this one. And Glendius. Hmm. I think it was like too. Or do I even care about it? Maybe I don't. And... Call this here? Nice. 
Very interesting. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. Oh, you guys so lucky. There's a large part of me that doesn't want to call it anything else, but it's nowhere near three damage. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, we're doing things. Kind of. I got another one of these. I really wonder we're using that. Oh, I didn't mean get rid of my reversal guard. I think I'd rather just do this. This one. Okay. Let's do let's that. No, it's that nice. I'm going to put you on break raid. I'm going to really upset you from the guys who can't target my um, reverse units. Confusing. Yep. Okay, from this point onwards, I'm not entirely sure what I'm planning on doing. Well, that was kind of a good heal trigger, actually. That top deck. Um, raid skip, certainly. In fact, that's a really good top deck. And then if we do something like this... Wait, did I even need to do that? Yeah, let's go for it. Go ahead, trigger. No trigger. Thank goodness. <laughs> the opponent gave up. 
yes. The opponent also learning how to play Glendios. Man, I've got someone watching at this time. It's ten past two in the morning. My goodness. Not bad as hand is what you think it is, because we've got a revenge, uh, reversing it in mad. Let's do this. Oh, and we've got a Glendios. Not having the Glendios is the scariest thing. Oh, he's playing the new starter. So this is drag roll. Then. Yep, sure, use the effect. So I shall take this reverse unit. And ride the grade one. Since we've only got the one choice, we are not riding a perfect guard. So we're going to have to go into this next Colony Maker That's the one that you discard to get more Phantom, right? Hmm. That's interesting, so Raging Form and Mordred Phantom are both draw triggers Which means that the Drag Ruler is the heal That's very annoying. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yes, use the effect. <laughs> Just always searching for reverse units. Okay, so we're going to have to go for the year, I believe. And, um... I'm just going to tie the points back up. Right, there's a good heal trigger. And we're now both back to one damage. Good. Pleasing. Pleasing we're both on one damage for my next turn. I'm on Glendius. Because I get to skip the break rig this turn. Oh my god. I hate this point. Yeah, let's do it one more time. It puts the heel back on the tech anyway. So that's fine. Glendios. Okay, let's start locking cards then, shall we? Um, we can't. We need grid ones. Why do we have no grid ones? What the hell happened here? Hmm, that's annoying. What are the chances of me being able to mega lock this guy? Take a while. I feel like it's not worth it. I don't even have things that can get over that freaking 90. I 
interesting choice. Even string. I can almost work with this. Very almost work with this. So it all starts with this. Then we have to go into this. To get out you. to unflip damage yet. Great, well this needs to hit. Hmm. Use more green ones. And call you here. Yes, retire. And battle phase. Okay, whew, scary. Um, what needs to hit? This. So, 16. And 11 here. Okay, well that used up almost all of my time, so hopefully we're in an okay situation. So next turn I think I can do more. I think. Oh, right. Okay. I forgot I was on 5 damage. I still got 3 heals in my death, right? <clears throat> yes, I do. Right, so how do I do this? Um, um, this one? Okay, so what needs to hit? So I can't do any more than that, can I? I like some brake rides, but is that okay? I have one heal left, Nick. Number four damage. Got one health card in hand, so we may be okay here. I mean, he can certainly deal one damage.
And I've got a one heal left my deck, so this doesn't work. So we've learned that Glendios is difficult to use and confusing. So let's try something different. What else do we have? Let's go for a Revenger. So let's look at our Revenger deck. This is it. It is a uh, four Drag Ruler, four Phantom Blaster, and four of a uh, Raging Four. Um, let's set uh, Raging Form to the Heal Trigger. Simply because I really kind of want the Mordred Phantom, well, the Drag Ruler over the Mordred Phantom. The rest of it, I think, is a vaguely reasonable deck. I'm using three of this guy because I think he's really cool. It's just the way he gives a permanent damage and also draws two. It stops the opponent. Um, Playing around, uh, not giving you a break ride. Um, so yeah, let's let's go with this. Unfortunately, this isn't a reverse deck, so it doesn't work towards the event. But um, I'm just trying it out for fun. See if we can work out how the deck works. Liberator isn't finished. I've only got one more Sanctuary Alfred. And we've got Rebirth Mate. Hard Fighter from Indonesia. Welcome. Welcome, Argamas. I know many people from Indonesia. I've been over there a few times. Well, I haven't been over there, but I've met people from there uh, when I was over at Worlds in Japan. Um, that's not the best hand in the world. Is this working, Vanguard? No, we will Rebirth. No, we don't need two of it. Is it as though the opponent might just have a slow internet connection? But they are all the way in Indonesia, so that makes sense. I still remember the Jim Carrey movie, Cable Guy, talking about how um, people in. I can't remember what it is this is. It's only people in England could play Mortal Kombat against um, people in New York. I remember the exact quote, but it's something like that. And uh, now we have that. We have that here today, right now. Right in front of you. And even back as simple as, well, less than 30 years ago, that would have been inconceivable. But now it's, you know, average. Oh, there we go. There we have some grade threes. That's good. It's pleasing. Oh, we've got a couple of grade threes. That's good. Right, so, uh, what's the best way to go around this? Maybe this guy? This guy? This guy. I'm going to use this skill. Well, I didn't need two of you. Damn it. Um...
Nothing else here really helps. Same columns. This is 12k, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's exactly the same. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Behold, four damage. And use this to just deal damage. Okay, so unfoot damage. Call you over here. And Let's declare some attacks. Yeah, Drag Ruler's pretty cool. He does a lot of aggro damage. Oh, Gansalot, okay. This could uh, be dangerous. Getting progressively more dangerous. Hmm. That's not good. I was hoping that first wouldn't be a trigger. Oh, 
They can both guard this one, but not the next ones. I don't know why I didn't give it plus five over here. Because if I get one heal, then uh, and I've got all four heals still left in deck. Oh, not a single heal. I get it right. Let's look at Rebirth. Okay, so this is our Rebirth deck. Um, I'm not playing Dragonic Burn out. I didn't think it was good. I think um, this is better, even though it's current Blast 2. I was also looking at Kigero and I was realising that there's an awful lot here that isn't good. <laughs> like, a lot of it is really old stuff because the last support that Kakero had was Seal Dragons, so I was like, hmm. Um, I'm playing one lone Dauntless Tribe Dragon in here. The rest of it is Overlord, though. So it's kind of worth one, and this is just free, right? Well, it's kind of blast two to retire opponents. Other rear guard. And you guys, it's kind of blast two. Okay, let's try it. I think I'll play this and then that'll be it for the stream. <laughs> Uh, a little bit disheartening. I already said you lose. Oh, it's not even well to try. Interesting hand. Let's go with that. No, let's let's go with that, shall we? Oh my god, why do I have so many of this in hand? Do you work in Vanguard? Please tell me you work in Vanguard. Damn it! Okay, now if, it, if I can draw into a Dragonic Overlord or another one of that grade one, that would be fantastic. Yes, that I want to draw into that. Oh my goodness. Um, this is a really bad idea. Okay, maybe we just call Berserk Dragon and attack with both of them. Dealt two damage. Okay, well that lets him go into Grade 3. Oh my goodness, these heal triggers. These fucking opponents in their fucking heel triggers. Oh my god. I've started swearing now. That's how not what I am. Yep, sure is Dayush Reverse. It certainly looks like it.
Man, that seems wasteful. That's great, I'm doing it anyway. That's great. Enough. Let's just attack. Do you want to hit trigger? Thank goodness. That's a really good thing you did a hat trigger. Oh my god, these heels. Yeah, don't see me getting a heal anytime soon because I started with three in hand. It may. Why is this a rearguard symbol? I'm sure that means Vanguard symbol. Right, so what is the big rate skill does? Card one card, this card. Sure. Stand and draw two. It's retired point three guards. No, I don't want to retire point three guard. It's a terrible idea. I should decide who is my card. Once again, I've only got one pair of guard in hand. And I don't see me hitting a freaking heal. Oh wow, that didn't hit. That was surprising. Um, so, yes, right, skip. Um, what can I blast? Nothing. So I can just do this. Oh, I don't need to. Eat him. Um, you hear this and call you here. Sure. Thanks for your skill. Oh, the opponent gave up. Welcome, welcome, Zed and uh, Soy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, last game I said, after this I'm going to do one more game and then I'm going to go to bed. But since people join the chat, I shall play one more game. And then I shall go to bed. For it is 2.42am now. But welcome, welcome to the stream everyone. Okay, so just make sure that you don't get uh, Omega locked, because that would be really stupid. Um, this isn't such a bad hand. Let's do these two. Okay, I can work with that. I've got so many brick rights. Yeah, what a useless time for a heel trigger. Just get the careful girl, shall we? And pass. No, call this. No, call this attack here. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else. Just clear attacks. That's fine, still makes you 19. And the crit still hits. Heel triggers. So where it There's no point in raiding. Hmm. I'll make a singular column. Uh, more useless heels. There you go. Five damage. You enjoy that. Now you can break rate right and lock that entire right column. Because that's what I've deliberately given you.
That's an interesting choice. So next turn I'm going to raid Dragonic Warlord over Dragonic Warlord, attack his rear guard, then attack his vanguard, and then pass. Yeah, well that's a little bit more irritating. I didn't think he was going to call a second rear guard. Let's call you here. And nothing more. I put three craft cards in hand? I think it's three craft cards. Yeah, three craft cards. I should be safe this turn. Oh, Glendor has an animation. If I could top deck into my last rebirth, that would be nice. That would be a good thing to happen. Okay, sure, so a mega lock. Okay. 
I can't believe it gave me all the great threes I needed apart from the end. Freaking terrible. I think I'm dead. We've got one heal left. Which wouldn't have been enough anyway. Ah, oh, damn this silly, silly, irritating game. Right, well, I think that's going to be it for today, folks. Didn't even go up a single rank. Mm, that's what I get for not playing meta. Hmm, very irritating. Well, once again, folks, if you want to talk to me, you can find the Discord in the description below. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Do try to leave a comment. I do try to reply to all of them. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.